This is Minecraft 1.17, but Minecraft 1.18 Caves and Cliffs Part 2 is out. Which means it's time to upgrade the world and see what happens to Minecraft School. Our objectives are, number one, update this world to 1.18, two, explore the changes under the base below y equals zero, and three, explore the boundary between old and new chunks and beyond. So I'm down here in my mine, and as you saw, we have bedrock right here. So we are currently at y equals four. So below this is void. We're in 1.17 at the moment. So what we're going to do is back out of the world, save it, and update to 1.18. All right, so we're going to be updating to 1.18, but it's release candidate number four. So uh, this is not the full release as I'm recording this the day before. So create backup and load. This should export a backup because, you know, there is a chance of corruption. But we'll see what happens when we load the world. All right. It's about to load. And it's taking a while. It's got to update. It's got to update everything below as well. Ah, there we go. And look at what we have. This is Deep Slate. It's no longer... Uh, bedrock as it was before so let's keep digging down and see what we find because we should have the new cave generation down here hopefully everything looks fine down there right so I'm gonna keep digging make sure we're lighting the way up because it does get a little dark with deep slate I'm excited to see what's down there well there's something new tough so I'm, I'm just gonna go down one here I don't need to make this a double wide so tough ah that's interesting but are we gonna find a cave and how big is it gonna be well since I am in a mountain <laughs> uh, uh oh more of you guys huh oh this is fun uh yeah so we have some uh infested blocks here maybe it's not a good idea to dig down in a mountain biome. Uh, this is one of the old mountain biomes. Oh, oh, great. Hello, where are you? Well, looks like we found one of our first ores. Still no caves. Now, one thing that is a bit different now is I don't have to place as many torches now because mobs only spawn up at light level zero now. So you don't have to have absolute darkness. Well, what you need is absolute darkness for them to spawn, which is great. Now you can make more atmospheric builds, more interesting builds. Oh, hello. These guys are going to be trouble, aren't they? <laughs> well then, uh, silverfish are awful. <laughs> Just about got killed by a whole bunch of them. Um, yeah. I have food up there I need to get. I heard some bats, so I thought, hey, why not dig to the side here? Okay, so um, I need to see if we've got anything in here. I should probably grab my shield. That would be a good idea because, you know, it could be anything down here. And uh, let's see, anything, anything. We have some regular looking cave down here. I'm just going to do a little bit of lighting up in here. And I did see something. Oh, nice. Well, I saw what looked like glow lichen. Oh, this is dark and it's going a long way. Hopefully we find a larger chamber. It should be amazing, but doesn't look like it. It just keeps going and going. Huh. Ah, uh, did find diamonds though, which... Uh, was actually very lucky. Okay, I think this is the end. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab the diamonds and look at all this tough. Tough is a great new block that you can use for decorating. Let's see what we get here. Just a couple, uh, two. Oh, and I used fortune. It's got fortune three, and I still only got two. Got way too much stuff on me, but uh, let's go down the other way, see what we've got. And who knows, we might find something interesting. 
Ore distribution has changed as well. As you can see, we've got some redstone down here. We've got lapis as well. I like the lapis. Lapis would be absolutely wonderful. But it looks like this cave system is a complete dead end, unfortunately. I may have to go in and uh, search for new terrain, new landscapes, and hopefully we get to find some nice new things. I don't think I need those. Ah. Uh, that's a lot of lapis that I got. Wow. Alrighty then. Let's head back up. And I think what we need to do is go exploring off in the distance. Today's comment of the video comes from TV Kitty. I use bees for honey and I like to use the new flowering azalea for designs. Yeah, I like the flowering azalea as well. I'm looking forward to finding some. Hopefully I can find a lush cave when we're off on our explorations. I have had trouble getting moss from uh, a wandering trader, but uh, now we can just go to lush caves and get all the moss we want. It's going to be so easy to gather all those materials that we could only get from a wandering trader or the occasional chest. And I think that we're going to have to go all the way back to my original base and head south. There is a, a map I need to follow and go all the way south to the edge of the uh, the snowy area. I had originally gone all the way down that way, but I stopped because uh, I was just mapping that one map area. I guess one of the side effects of uh, playing in 1.18 is things generate a little bit more slowly. Uh, this just could be an issue with RAM. I may just have to increase the, the RAM allocation, which is a good idea if you're playing in 1.18. Now, what I came here for is this. I just want this map because I need to see exactly where we need to go. So there is an area down at the south where there's a lot of greenery. So I want to go straight there and we're going to see exactly what the border is going to look like. Now, in early snapshots, there's a glaring border. Uh, it is so easy to see where the border between the uh, old terrain is and the new chunks, the 1.18 chunks. It is a straight line, sometimes a cliff. It, it's just very obvious. But they have worked on it, uh, the developers, I mean, have worked on smoothing things out, so there shouldn't be that kind of border. But we'll see when we reach it. My goals right now are to find some of the new biomes. Of course, I want to find lush caves and dripstone caves. I would love to grab some dripstone, as well as moss. Uh, probably also glowberries. I would love to have that as well. And if we can find some mountains, that would be absolutely amazing. Because I would love to see the view, just see what it looks like. I'm not really going to be doing anything with them. Although I'll probably do some coal mining because I'm very low on it. All right, this area is familiar. I recognize uh, that little bit there. I believe I've already generated those mountains before. Uh, let's take a look here. So we're getting close. I believe there was a beach area over here where I found some uh, ruins. There should be some. Yeah, there they are. I've been over there before. Okay, so we've uh, collected stuff from those ruins. But beyond that, going farther south, should be new unloaded chunks. But I have no idea. I have no idea where the border is going to be, so we're going to have to go take a look. One big clue is if you've got these pools of water around here that don't really go anywhere, they're not caves, you're in the old chunk, so 1.17 or earlier. If it turns out they're caves they and they go pretty deep, it is most likely going to be the new chunks, and I don't think this is it, though. There's iron there. But I think I should sleep before I go any further. I don't know. I think that might be one of the newer style hills. It it seems gentler. I'm going to head for that. Uh, I believe that this mountain is uh, the old style mountain. It is absolutely not 
one of the new ones. Um, these caves look like old style. I think these chunks have been loaded before. It wasn't that far away. So let's see. Just swimming through here. I know this is all new stuff. It's so much more natural looking. Oh, that is exciting. I haven't seen any hard bear, or not barrier, but hard line. None at all. Hold on. We have savannah over there. I haven't seen savannah in the seed before, and we've got one of those. Ah, uh, pillagers. Okay. I'm going to avoid them because I, I don't want to fight, but whoa, look at this. This is looking much more organic, I guess. There's something tall over there. We may have found a mountain already. And yes, yes, here we are. This is an entrance to the an aquifer. So this is definitely new. 1.18 chunks here. Another big change is rivers are wider. And what is this? I'm just wondering if this is a regular old ravine. Which it might be. I think it is. I think it's a regular old-fashioned ravine, but... One of the differences is it's usually filled with water now. Um, or maybe it's not. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is an interesting area. Two pillager outposts. And I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but the landscape is so much more dramatic. Much nicer looking. There's a village over here. Um, not sure if I'm going to visit it since I want to keep going. And see what we can find but you know they might have a book or something uh, I see <laughs> well, we do have a villager in here I did hear one but um, this is a dangerous village broken up th like that what okay this is something extremely rare you don't see this often you gotta see this pink sheep I don't think I've ever found a pink sheep in the game before. Oh, this is lucky. It's time for your pop quiz. Number one, what's your favorite part of the 1.18 update? And number two, where do you want to build first, the mountains or caves? Let me know in the comment section below. What well, used to be mountains are now hills, and we got a nice little village here. And it looks like there's a cave at the back, and that is something I want to look at. As you never know, it might have something interesting inside. Be nice to find a villager, or not a villager, a, a librarian in here. And this is one thing I wanted to find. Caves. Deep, deep caves. Uh, but I don't see any biomes down there. It looks like it's just a regular old cave. Yep. No lush caves. And no dripstone caves, so we have to keep looking. Another change in 1.18 is the beaches. Well, this is a strange one because it's very vertical. The beaches are generally more gently sloping, but they're much wider than they used to be. And the second thing is, you can see it right over here, the stony shores and I think we found the mountain we're looking for, and massive, massive cliffs. Oh, wow. We found it. Oh, this is good. This area is incredible. Look at all the cliffs over there. And there. And there. Wow. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite landscapes. Just seeing all these cliffs looking over the ocean. They are incredibly difficult to get up. But they're very interesting. And we've got, look at that, frozen peaks. That looks like just grove up there and frozen peaks over here. I think I want to look at this one, mostly because it's it's the tallest. And I think we can find something interesting over there. So let's get over here and scale this mountain. A lot of biomes have changed names. Uh, these used to be just uh, tall birch forests. Now they're old growth birch forests. And a lot of the old mountain biomes are now like gravelly hills or things like that. And uh, we no longer have anything called shattered terrain. Well, 
it still exists it's just under another name it's now called windswept it could be windswept, uh, windswept savanna but it can also involve other biomes as well now these mountains now there are let's see we've got the meadow which is a lot lower but it is one of my favorite new biomes and then there is the snowy slopes and snowy slopes are kind of dangerous you might run into this stuff here this is oh no that's not it <laughs> uh there's uh there's a texture change um i was a little premature in thinking that that was powder snow powder snow is dangerous you can freeze in it uh this looks like it is it is frozen peaks so nothing to worry about we got all of this packed ice in here so that is great we've got regular ice too this is a grove right uh oh okay this is what i meant by um frozen snow okay i need to get out of here otherwise i'm gonna die okay i was so sure i was gonna die watch where you're going this is uh the wrong place to die i am so far away from home and uh i don't know if i'd find my way back here anyways you see that texture right there that is what you don't want to walk on and i have one one leather i really should have grabbed or made leather boots that would have definitely saved me some trouble so let me just get back into the frozen peaks biome because there's no powder snow oh frozen peaks yes here we are we're getting close to the top that's weird but frozen peaks biome jagged peaks biome and i think that might be a jagged peak right there and stony peaks now, stony peaks are in warmer areas they're all the tall mountains now we're not at the peak but we're at y154 this is not a really tall mountain though but look at the view it's just incredible it'd be great if we could find some caves around here too and hopefully not get stuck in snow all right i cut myself out of there but it looks like there's a village over there on that mountain which is amazing uh, i believe that is not one of the mountain biomes since there's a village there and it is not a plains village which you could find in meadow biomes but this is an incredible area let's just take a look at the coordinates uh negative 780 and 3972 so if you've got the seed which is in the description you can take a look at this area because it's amazing i love this this is one of the reasons why 1.18 is probably my favorite update i i just love it because i love the mountains the caves are pretty good too but it's the mountains that i i particularly love in this i'm going to have a lot of links in the description i uh, there are way too many tutorials i've done on 1.18 things that they won't fit in the cards so definitely take a look down in the description for any anything absolutely anything that you think you need to learn more about and in the meantime i'm gonna look for a gigantic opening in the ground because that's one of the best ways to find these great big uh, caves and what's this well, what have we found we have found a big cave but uh it's nothing special it's not a sp any particular biome is it unless is that dripstone no that's granite all right and there is a creeper okay so i'm gonna keep looking around because it doesn't look like we've found any of the cave biomes yet well this is a nice thing to find that's a lot of gold nice oh and of course golden carrots these are amazing love these it looks like i found a huge underwater cave now this is something that i'm not going to be going down to explore 
it's really dark here and I'm gonna end up dying but um, there's a chance we could find a glow squid coming up nearby maybe <laughs> uh, but I didn't see one found a nice little village here and I saw something from the distance it looks like the paths from this village go all the way up this iceberg that is a little bit weird but you know sometimes things like that happen that's an interesting house I wonder if I can even get in uh I don't think so oh there we go inside is filled with ice yep totally habitable and will you look at what we found there's an ocean monument underneath this iceberg or this frozen ocean something I don't want to get into I would like my boat back though thank you so it looks like we have uh, some more land over here I really want to find caves please I have to check out this lone tree just sitting out here in the middle of the water oh hold on there's another one or is that uh those are ruins oh what do you know it's an azalea tree that means it's growing in water um right below us there should be some lush caves but it's out in the ocean that's not exactly what i want but we're close enough to the shore hey is that another one i'm wondering if we can find a cave entrance that would be amazing here another thing you're going to find is canyons these are absolutely deep now if it happens to end and it's not really a river it's a fjord but the rivers will go through these canyons for quite a long ways and i am just really unlucky because i haven't been able to find a decent cave entrance now that is probably not going to help me much i just want one that goes straight down into the ground and shows me something interesting like lush caves because i want the moss there is a massive cave entrance over there i have got to check it out and hopefully uh be fine i'll just sleep before i get over there well we found something that's not the entrance in there yet but this is interesting now this is a cave entrance i'd like to take a quick look but nothing really interesting and i still don't see any signs of any of the cave biomes but this cave over here has i hope has something there it is it is massive another cave huh that's not what i want all right welcome to another nondescript cave we are seeing a very large one but it doesn't have any of the biomes in it never mind haha <laughs> guess what we found i gotta go down there somehow um which is easier said than done let me see there might be a way to get down that's a little bit easier on this side It'd be nice and it looks like i might be able to walk down a ways but yeah all i need is to get some of that moss over there and the glowberries are a little bit difficult to get to it looks like but it's the moss i want and we've arrived a little bit of a staircase there so we've got some mobs down there i'm not going to worry too much about them all i want to do is grab some of this get rid of the saplings i don't need that and of course you fall down there yeah get rid of the sapling again there we go we got moss it's our first one and uh oh we've got azalea there so can i get one of those that would be amazing i could just grow that so easily uh, i can get azalea from the moss no problem there i just need an easy way to get back up and just grab some of this i only need one really but let's get over there and grab one of those this cavern's huge amazing uh but here we are let's grab this and um yeah the way i'd like to just grab one of these you know oh wait i need shears don't i and i don't have it what happens if i just break this got it 
That's all I need. Okay, we're going to get out of here. I got the two things that I absolutely wanted to get. And we're going to go home. Well, kind of lucky. Found a shipwreck that's uh, partially up on land. This would be easy to get into. Uh, but it's getting dark. I don't like this weather. Can I even sleep? I can. Okay. That's because it's a thunderstorm. <laughs> All right. So I want to check it out. Uh, it's over here. Just to take a look and see what we've got down here. And I think I can just... Oh, it's partially buried. Aha. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to get into. And to be honest, I have such a small inventory space right now. I can't reach it. Can I reach it? There we go. We got some of that. I think I'm getting out of here. There we go. So what have we learned? Under any of the old chunks that you've already generated, it does now extend down to minus 64 and you will find caves under there. Now, if you're going to other areas that have not been generated, it seems that it is pretty seamless. I didn't notice any issues with anything. I mean, it, it, it looks like it's quite natural, natural transition. But you will find all the new caves, all of the new mountains, and it looks incredible. But now it's time for your homework. I'd like you to take a screenshot of new mountains or caves in your world and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. So what do you think of the new terrain generation? Let me know in the comment section below. Check out the playlist on the right if you want to see more Minecraft School videos. Subscribe and like if you enjoy what you see. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.